Oh, good day. How are you? Yeah, it's um, Pirate Harry here. Yeah, I'm still in the sling. I'm slung in the sling, you know, basically broken. Rip tendons, yes. Yeah, but it's getting better. It's getting better. And a lot of your kind thoughts are making me feel so much better. And um, if you want a tug mug or a Fock of the River Counters t-shirt, then um, please go to the merchandising store. There'll be a link up here somewhere, right? And... Um, That'll pay my doctor's bills. Yeah, it really will. It really will. Okay, well, uh, what we need to talk about here is... I'll... Mm. Yeah, it's nothing better than that, right? Uh, what we need to talk about here is... Um, there was a question, all right? And uh, one of my subscribers said, Look, Harry, um, there's a kit that I want to get. But hang on. You can get it from Germany. You can get it from France. But it's kind of the same kit. Now... It's not different makes. No, it's the same make, okay? Romani or France. But somehow, this manufacturer is now in two places. What's going on? Let's have a look, okay? This is the Hella, which one's this one? This is the Hella La Superbe, right? Okay? And that is from Germany, okay? So that's from Germany. And it's in, it's in a good size box, all right? So, um, Quite good, okay. But but look, um, this I think I can hold two with two arms. Uh, this is a lot bigger. This is a lot bigger. I've got to pull one of these down. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'm a pig leg next. This I'm gonna have to go even further back. Is exactly the same kit, except this is the glorious, right? La Gloria. Uh, essentially, they're the same thing. They're sister ships. The only difference is probably the poop deck. One's got an extra pooper, okay? So there's not much in it. The sprue should be identical. It's the same kit by the same manufacturer, but this is a huge box, and yet that other one was only this big, okay? So what is going on here? This one's from France, and it's a big box. That one's from Germany, and it's a small box. So what, are the Germans just more space efficient? I mean, you know, what's happening? All right, this could be interesting. Let's get on with it. Roll the music! Alright, welcome back. Now, just to show you that I am not fibbing with this at all, there is the Glorious, right? Which is from Hella, both of them are, but this one got moulded in boxed in France, okay? So, um, it is 55 centimetres long. It's a big box. Now to show you I'm not lying, if you put them this way, right, back to back, you'll see it's a lot smaller. So how can all the same parts be there? Is it a different kit? Have they run, redone the sprue? Well, let's find out. Let's find out, okay? Let's find out. Now this box is got a opening from the side type thing. I don't know if that's normal for Hella. I've never seen that before. Other kits I've got, just the box lid comes off. And you've got the usual thing, whopping great big sails. I mean, it's a 1 to 150 scale kit. So you've got a whole pile of sails, and they are the size of the box, okay? No one's going to use those. No one in their serious mind will use plastic sails on a lovely big kit like this. Okay, so we've got some hull halves. Now, yeah, they've got a lot of room to move in there. So, okay. So we've got our hull halves. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous thing, this. really is. It is glorious. <laughs> so there we go. It's a lovely big ship. All right, I'm really looking forward to building this and the sister ship one day. So you get all that. There's a bit of bubble wrap in here, which I think is how it came from the guy I bought it off. I didn't buy it new. Heller Instructions, which from France, they're, um, yeah, if you've ever looked at them, they're all in French, okay? Wow, mon ami, here's the uh, problem. Yeah, so unless you speak French, it's really hard to sort of fathom it. Short, sure, there's pictures and the diagrams, and they're, they're, you can pretty well follow them. Anybody who's an experienced shipbuilder can pretty well work it out, but, um, you know, it is a problem. Hella does give for the English speakings, like myself, who only speak French, which I learned from watching Bugs Bunny cartoons. Maybe up you. So you get the whole thing here. It's in Engelas, right? So um, there you go. 
Fire from Bubble Wrap. You've got a box of or bag. You got a bag, okay? You got a bag of typical Walkella. You got all the red things, right? Which you know usually sort of is cannon type sort of stuff. Okay, they're cannon carriages, that sort of thing, bits and pieces. And you get the white things. Now this is important because this will be the um, the rear, what I call the transom. All right? There's a little chain in there as well, basically, which you usually put the rudder on. Okay, or you can have the anchors. Oh no, the anchors usually have ropes in this thing. Chain is usually for the rudder, which is at the stern. And you've got the little um, little officer quarters there, little quarter sort of binnacles. And you have got the bow, the head rails. Okay, so you've got all that. I'll get these out in a sec, we'll have a look. I've never opened these kits, right? They are virgin, their bags have never been popped. Have your bags been popped? <laughs> then you get this bag which again is sort of floating around here but um, you have got all the yards and the masts okay there they are and then you have crow's nests and um, fighting platforms that sort of stuff and of course you have the main deck pieces and you'll have in here as well one of these little hella oh you've got a hella stand oh, there's a stand there and you've also got the um, can't quite see it but believe you me there's the rigging tool they use for making the rat lines which is, is quite good but I won't use it because I make my own rat harp if you've ever seen my builds of ships I've got a better way of doing it all right so there we go that is everything that's in that box let's have a look in the one from Harmony see what's different and for those of you wondering yes it is a brand new mat there's no stains there's no big Tamiya thin spill in the middle yeah wonder how long this one's going to stay clean all right Moving along, here is the Germans. Yeah, we can do it better in Germany. Yes, you'll see. All right, enough of that. I never get in trouble. You know, the Germans, despite the fact we say they don't have a sense of humour, I do a German accent. No German has ever got upset. Not once. No, never. They've often said, gee, your accent's quite good. Amazingly. But when I do the French accent, oh, do I get heck from the French. Yeah, the frogs get so upset. All right, so this one, La Superbe, okay. As I said, this box is a lot smaller. I don't need to measure it. Again, look, we have got all of our sounds, but they've kind of chopped them up into smaller pieces. All right, they've sliced it up. All right, you can tell that because oh, ow, there's um, there's like a little piece here which is probably should have been on there, or whatever. Um, so the Germans have just gone. Forget the guillotine, then she will fit. We will make your fit. Yes. <laughs> all right now oh well we've got different colored plastic we've also got no bag um what's going on there did i have a bag did i lose it no there doesn't appear to be a bag now i bought this one brand new from germany because it was on special i got it for a good price i paid more than i did for gloriax right but um for the superb yeah I decided, oh, I wouldn't mind that. It's a really good price. Get it straight out of Germany because exchange rates are really good. Like, you know, the Australian bloody shekels weren't worth much or whatever. So, well, worth too much. Whatever. However it works, it um, didn't cost many euros. Because I can't say Deutschmarks. I often say Deutschmarks. But apparently you Germans haven't had Deutschmarks for a long time. Or Reichmarks or Schmart remarks. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So um, I got this one probably... One and a half times the price, maybe even closer to twice the price. And I thought it was a completely different ship. I really hadn't done my research. I mean, you know, because um, they look completely different. They're categorized completely differently. So look, um, there's the hull and that fits nice in there. Let's see if that hull is the same as the one in the other kit. I just happen to have it here. All right. So, well, obviously that one's brown. And, um, well, yeah, they kind of look exactly the same. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. If I take this half, right, and that half, um, well, bugger me with a boomerang. I was right. It is, and I know it is, I mean, I'm not really surprising myself, but you may be surprised, yeah. It is exactly the same, so there you go. So if you wanted to, you could mix and match, you know, you could basically uh, do them like this, you know. That's good for racial harmony, don't you think? I think so. Yes, I should do more of that. Okay, so, okay. The hull is exactly the same, right? The hull halves on both kits appear to be the same. And I can't see any difference at all. Here's the thing I was talking about that was in the other kit, but it was hidden in the bag, right? 
So, so far all we've noticed is Germany doesn't like bags. You will have no bags. They are not good. It's dangerous. Okay, so no bags from Germany. Whereas the French go, oh, we put this in a bag. We're going to have the bag of your own ass. Okay, so there you go. If you don't like my accents, then um, turn the volume off and apparently you can get all the words on the screen. Although they'll probably be silly. No, never mind. Never mind. Uh, this makes rat ones, okay? And I've shown how this compares to the rat harp that I've designed, but there'll actually be a rat harp 2 coming out soon, which is even better. It is universal. All right, so we've got sprues and they're all loose. Now, it's a bit of a bugger. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. But what I will do is I'm going to go through sprue by sprue shortly with the um, metal kit. All right, so, oh, exactly the same instructions. La Superbe, and that is all French. That's identical. That is identical. That is identical. It's stable together a bit better. It's all identical. Um, just believe me, I'm looking at it all. It's the same thing. So, and it comes here, and then you've got the history in in glass. So they didn't change that, but that fits nice in there. Is it the same size? Let me have a quick look. And here's one I made before. Oh, there you go. So that is the same. It's exactly the same. All right. There is no difference. They're the same thing. So just one says glory, one says boo. What's going to be different, and I know this, is um, when you come to the stern and um, the little pieces here, which are officers' um, quarters. Right, little bits, I always forget what they're called. So this, this, and this, and this is all different. So we have a look at this one. Really doesn't look a lot, but you'll see they are different, okay? So this part looks similar, but this is slightly different. And um, there's not a lot in it, but that is different. So a little scallopy thing on there, and you know, and we've got all the colors. Actually, it's interesting in this one, we have all the colors in French, right? Because that is the glorious. But on this one, they haven't even bothered to do that. They haven't bothered to put all the little French colors, you know? Noir, black, rouge, red. Uh, I forget what blue is. Yeah, blue. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, none of that. It's a bit different. It's a bit clearer, which means that you then take all your color references from here. And, um, well, they're all in French. Mon <laughs> dieu! Uh, okay. Basically, it's the same kit, except it's slightly different on those few parts. Let's have a look at those. I've got all the sprues out here and I've put them in three piles because this is the same as the bags, right? Because these are the less superb. These are the bags from Le Gorius. So here's the, this is the one from Germany and this is the one from France. Now you'll notice they're identical. They haven't shortened them, they haven't done anything. And in fact, that's exactly the same sprues. There's two here which are mast yards and various bits and pieces that fit on the hull and the two here for decks okay and you get the um, thing and that's exactly the same all right so so what do you get let's have a, have a quick look because might as well do a bit of a sprue review so these are identical to both kits okay so um, the various things this is for the um, the prow okay this is basically usually where the heads are it's very bent okay you've got various little sort of bulkheads and things. This is for the stern. This is the windows. They're the same on both. The uh, fighting platforms are identical on both here. Okay, the rudder is the same. because I mean, the hull is the same. Uh, these are for basically putting the a little boot on. All right, you've got the little boot. So all of this and all the cannon port lids, okay. These are the same on both kits. On the sprue, it says Sup Glow, right? Is that French? Is that German? No, it's not. It's just an abbreviation for Superb and Gloriax, right? Superb and Glorious. So those two kits have this common sprue. It's identical, all right? So all that lovely stuff. Now, if you've never seen a Hello kit, generally, generally, it's clean. At least here, the German version, absolutely clean. There's not a hint of flash. The French versions, the same. I'll have a look and see if it's slightly softer, but this is 
the plastic is identical. I don't think there's really anything in it. But you can see there's no flesh. It's nice and clean. It's just basically the mould. Maybe the Germans have cleaned it up a bit. We'll have a look. Now you also get your second sort of medium sized sprue here. And as I said before, these are masks. Okay, masks come into halves. That's pretty typical Heller. So you put a bit of wire up them or you just glue them together like that. And the fact they're in two halves makes them a lot stronger. Okay, that's their trick. So you're gluing those together should take warps out, all that sort of thing. And you get the yards, which are single pieces, which well, it depends how sort of, depends. It's pretty soft, this plastic. They're probably a bit wobbly. So if you really want to get berserk on your rigging and you're tying very hard, you probably want to replace all those with wood, dowel, or, um, you know, some titanium or something. I don't know, something that won't bend as easily. But um, if you're careful with your rigging, it's never a problem. I find it's never a problem. You just basically don't rig everything so super tight, you know. All right, so that's the same, that's the same. And also here you get little boats. Now, um, we're missing one of our boat halves here. So that's a bit of a worry, isn't it? One half of my, um, my launch there is completely missing. And it's nowhere loose in the kit that I can find. I've looked around. And this is the thing, it's a loose box. It could have popped open at any stage and that's fallen out. So that's a bit disappointing. There's a few loose parts, which is annoying, and that's because there was no bag. Why didn't you put a bag in? Hey, who knows? Who knows? But generally, everything's pretty good. It's identical deck, right? So that um, that deck I had for the um, for the uh, glorious will fit the superb, and this is the superb. And again, does it tell us? Yep, yep. Here we go. Again, we have a sup glow. Right, sprue number two, sup glow. So it's quite obvious, and it says that too on the previous sprue, and it'll probably say that on this one as well. This will have a sub glow. No, it doesn't have anything, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So there are your decks. These are intermediate decks go down inside the hull, so they don't really have much in the way of detail. They're just yeah, yeah so you can put the um, secondary layers, you know, the lower cannon decks and those sort of things. So it looks pretty. Oh, this one at least has got some. Um, this one's got some. Would work on it so that's the um that'd be the main deck and the other one is your four deck a forecastle deck right and um and your quarter deck so this one just to make sense this one goes over the top of that one okay like so and that one goes underneath that one and, and this one basically is totally hidden it's only there to perch cannons on because you have lots of layers of cannons right so you've got cannons on that deck cannons on that deck but up here on the quarter deck, you've got cannons, okay? So that's why that quarter deck and the forecastle there, and then your main deck, and then that's your uh, lower deck, okay? Gun deck, if you like. So that's how it works. That's how it is. So here are the last of the loose sprues that were in my German kit, okay? And this is where things are going to get a little bit different, we hope, we hope. Here is the bag from the French kit, okay? And in typical Hella style, you've got the red bits for all your cannons and your cannon bits and pieces, okay? And then you've got white bits, which are usually the add-on for the, the transom and the officer's quarters, that sort of thing, and the bow, and you know, all kinds of little things. So um, what's going on here? Well, this section is identical, although it's in, not in a nice red. This is the same spruce, okay? So there is two sprues, of all the um, lovely little cannons. You get a cannon truck, you get the sides. Oh, look, you're there forever building the bloody things. But they do come up well, but you get them all in little pieces, okay? And there's a little barrel there, which you can put your wine in, okay? And um, this actually still says Sup Glow, look. So these all say Sup Glow, Sup Glow. So again, common spruce, common spruce, okay? And again, we've got um, more more and more and more and more. You get lots and lots and lots of cannons. Because all those ones below decks, you know, Heller expects you to make all those up, you know. Well, don't bother detail painting, that's for sure. You can make them up, but um, how much of them you actually paint is up to you. But you do get all the different size cannons, see? Look, cannon barrels. They're all graduated. So you've got little ones for the top deck, this one for the main deck, and this one down on the gun deck. Because as you go lower into your decks, your ducks, right, the long things get bigger. And to show that I wasn't lying, I've taken these out of the bag. Absolutely identical. Okay. Again, sup glow. All right. Same sprue. There it is. 
except Heller gives it to you. Well, Heller of France gives it to you in red. And these same erections along here. You know, big ones when you're low, little ones when you're high. <clears throat> it's always the way. It's always the way. Now, what is different, we hope, is these white sprues. Okay, so in the French kit, as typical with all the Heller ships that I built before and had anything to do with, you know, the white section is usually the things that are of interest. Okay, so let's just see what we've got here. Well, I'll unfold it all. Now, this says glorious and nothing else. There's no sub glow on that. Um, there is, no, that's glorious too. So that one just says glorious, no sub glow. And this one will just say superb. In fact, it says superb on there. So that is just superb. And this here also says superb. So let's have a look. Okay, let's see what the difference is between the white sprue from the glorious to the brown sprue from the superb. Okay, so straight away we can see something here. So these um, these little things here, right, which are basically going on the forecastle, well, they're different. So on the glorious here, you've got big round holes which your cannons go through, but on the superb, you've just got all these little sort of stanchions here that go up and down. All right, so that is superb, okay, and that is glorious. So that's different. These two little guys look exactly the same. There's not really not much in it. There might be a subtlety that I can't see. But what is really different is when you start looking at these, what I call the, um, the little officer quarters there, which um, sit off underneath the poop deck. All right? And um, yeah, there's, um, there's, there's quite a bit in it. This one for the spurb, you're getting lots of little scrolly things and very clean and crisp and clear on the molding okay so hopefully you can see it there sorry it's a bit hard when you've got a Tyrannosaurus rex arm on one side this one well it's still molded as crisp i can't see any difference there but you don't get the little scrolly things up there instead there's scrolly stuff down the bottom whereas on your um superb on the bottom here you have the rails actually they're probably up that way sorry they're up that way so Yes, there's a difference. There's a big difference, okay? So you can see them there side by side. That's the difference. You're just getting different sort of ornamentation there of the officer's quarters, okay? So that is the main thing on there. Apart from that, you've got, um, what have you got here? These are the same. Oh, not quite, no, actually. You have got like a little balustrade, little turn balustrades there, and that is for um, Glorious on Superb. It's not as superb. They're just straight up and down, kind of boring. So that's different. Um, they both come with these little uh, shark fins here. That's for putting in the water. You strap them in the back of um, one of your um, sailors. You make them swim around, everyone laughs. So yes, they both have that. They both have that. Now this is interesting. Here's a little thing here. It looks like a belfry type sort of thing. That would be on the front of the forecastle, usually. I'll double check on the instructions for you, but I think that's where it is. And you don't get anything like that over here for superb. Um, no, you just get a, a very plain little fascia here. So um, there's a difference. So it is very subtle. There's just not much on those two sprues, okay? But they are different. Where it's really going to change, it should be manifestly different, is here on this sprue. So if we're comparing two completely different, I don't want to have to cut these parts out. So let's have a look. Can we get them side by side? There we go. Two completely different stern arrangements, okay? So Superb comes with a lot more balustrading, which matches what's happening on the forecastle. Okay, again, nice and crisp and clean. We're getting a bit more ornamentation here on the Glorious. Okay, so the Glorious has quite a bit of pretty ornamentation there, whereas the uh, Superb is not a Superb. It's just plain. So, yeah. So I suppose maybe this is a later one. I know as things wore on, the ships became less ornate. So maybe Superb is a later iteration. Okay, well, it's shown in that, guys. Your um, head rails, I think they're pretty well the same. No, there, there is a difference. There is a difference. Again, you're getting more ornate, extra filly bits and everything on the Glorious because it's absolutely glorious. But on the Superb, it... Um, it's a little less so. It's a little, little more refined, a little more held back. 
And um, as far as your figurehead goes, well, the Superb's got a flying crown, okay? It's got a little crown there. It's almost like a Fabergé egg with wings. And on this one, you get a lion, okay? So there you go. So Glorious has a lion with a uh, crown on. That's rather good. Everything else is sort of similar. Yeah, there's not really much in it. Slight differences here, again. Um, you are seeing that, again, those... Um, differences in the forecastle railings okay glorious is very pretty and superb is austere okay so superb has to be like the later versions of the french ships when they really didn't have as much ornamentation okay well look that sort of about covers it i hope you can see there's really not much in it the quality seems the same i can't tell much from the plastic no, the German stuff might be slightly stiffer. It's hard to tell. It's really until you sort of cut parts off and start doing something with it. You know? Yeah, it's 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 apples and oranges. As far as I can tell, same molds, basically the same quality. Neither of these two kits are that old, or the German one is a bit of a newer press. But the German version is just a different size box. The Germans have just cut down on the cardboard and the waste. And they haven't bothered using plastic bags. So you lose parts. So if you want to get a kit with all the parts in, buy the one from France. That's um, about all I can do with this. Mm. Well, thanks for watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate the fact that you made it all the way through. And, and I hope that was interesting for you. What's going on with those two kits, eh? Interesting stuff. Romany and France. Who won the war? Yeah, I mean, don't mention the wall. Don't mention the wall. Okay, well, as usual, you know, the usual stuff. Like, uh, you know, helps the algorithm. Comment, don't say anything rude. And subscribe, hit the bell notification. You'll see more of my silly videos, okay? And if you really like what I'm doing, don't use super thanks. No, you know why? Um, YouTube takes more than half. So you think, oh, I've got him. Slinging Harry a couple of shekels. I only see one of them. If you really want to help me out, up here, I think it is, buy me curry. Okay, all right then. But still, you can hit super thanks if you want to. Just remember, half of anything you give to me goes to YouTube because, you know, they're very hungry, very hungry down there. Okay, uh, now, you may be wondering through this whole video, uh, why did I have a black background, okay? Um, yes, it is sort of color-coding nice your T-shirt. But you see, what happens is what's behind there, people get really upset about. Yeah, it's divisive. It basically is gender divergent. It basically, it just upsets so many people. But seeing as you made it at the end of the video, as a special treat, I'll show you what's back there. Are you ready? <laughs> it's my stash. I've sorted out my uh, sailing ship stash. So those are the ships are all there now, okay? And if you like, I'll do another video on what's in my stash because I have rearranged the whole room. Yeah, that's what I've been doing while I couldn't do much with my arms. All right, well, that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching the whole video. It's goodbye from Australia, and it's Huru from Harry Houdini. <laughs>